Spider-Man Miles Morales is finally out on PC and boy I've got some things to tell you about it. I have been playing this game on the Steam Deck for a few days now and just like its predecessor, it is one of the best and most optimized games I have played on this device. A special thanks to Sony for sending Gadget Pilipinas a code for me to feature on this channel. Now, if you want to read our full review of Spider-Man Miles Morales for PC, you can head on to onemoregame.ph. Now, in this video, I am going to share with you my setup with SteamOS via handheld mode and Windows 10 while docked to the HB0604 M.2 docking station by JSOX. If you want this dock, be sure to check out the affiliate links in the description box below. Now, before I start, if you have this specific docking station with an installed M.2 SSD, you may want to boot to SteamOS, enable desktop mode, download the script that was prepared by JSOX and follow the instructions. This will automatically mount the SSD after the installation. This dock that was sent to me by JSOX has a pre-installed 1TB SSD, but if you're going to buy one without an SSD pre-installed, you can also check out JSOX instructions on how to properly install and also format and have it auto-mounted by Steam OS. They also provided um, a script for that. In my case, I have the game installed in the internal drive of the Steam Deck, and I also have a copy of the game on the SSD. Now, this way, uh, this will allow me to also play the game uh, when I boot into Windows. Yes, I'm using dual boot because there are some games that play well or play better rather on Windows. Now, you don't need to follow this specific setup because I only needed to do this because I wanted to uh, compare you know, how this game performs on Steam OS and Windows 10. This also gives me a choice between playing the game while mo mobile, you know, while being mobile, or stationary when docked. Now, let me first run a couple of setups so you have an idea of how this game runs on the Steam Deck. In this first section of the game, I'm using 800p resolution high graphic settings and high texture quality, as well as four times anisotropic filtering, V-Sync enabled, and zero upscaling. This setup gives the game visual fidelity compared to the original game with an average FPS of 30. I needed to tweak a bit of settings in the Steam Deck Performance tab. I set the frame rate limit to 30 and the refresh rate to 60. Now, as mentioned, this gives the best visual look of the game at 30 FPS and relatively better battery performance. As you can see in my gameplay, Spider-Man Miles Morales is able to keep up at 30 FPS average frame rate and the visual quality is top-notch on Steam Deck. As you can see in the performance overlay, there is barely visible jankiness in the frame rate, making this the most stable setting at the expense of low but playable FPS. Robbers at that donation stand. Not on my watch. There isn't even that much here. Surprise! This don't concern you! Feels like half the city's got a hotline to fight him in these days. Give me your bank shot! Spider-Man 1, Robbers 0. Now, if you want to play at uh, medium or relatively good settings without worrying about gameplay performance and experience, I set the resolution to 720p in this scenario, a medium graphics uh, preset, and medium texture quality. Uh, anisotropic filtering is set to two times uh, compared to the four times earlier. V-Sync and FSR 2.1 are enabled with dynamic resolution scaling set to 30. In terms of Steam Deck performance settings, my frame rate limit is set to off and refresh rate set to 60. You have the option to just set the frame rate limit to 60 or lower if you want to balance smoothness and battery usage. 
You also have the choice uh, to enable or disable half rate shading. But in my experience, I just set it to disabled because it does not bring any benefit to my Steam Deck's battery life and gameplay performance. Now, let us boot the game to Windows, which is what I do if I want to play the game in docked mode. I'm using the JSOX HB0604 Steam Deck dock with a 1TB SSD installed. So far, the game plays well, but I could not replicate the settings I've got on the Steam OS. The game plays at 30fps with FSR 2.1 enabled, exclusive full screen, and medium graphics preset. Since I do not have Steam Deck performance tab on Windows to limit frame rate and refresh rate, I could not crank the settings any further. If you own a Steam Deck and you've got a tip, please let me know in the comment section below which one is the best setting that's working for you on Windows 10 or 11. While I think that it plays perfectly well on my Windows boot setup, this game has every reason to be marked as verified on the Steam Deck. In fact, there are times when I feel that the game plays better compared to Spider-Man Remastered. And I believe that if you own a Steam Deck or a PC, I highly recommend that you get this game on Steam. Now, among the Steam Deck setups I've mentioned today, uh, the best setup for me, and if I would recommend, that would be to play the game on Steam OS rather than play the game on Windows 10. Anyway, this is a Steam Deck, then of course, I'd, I'd rather recommend, and it's best to recommend to play the game on this device. And anyway, this game is also verified on Steam Deck. Therefore, it is assured that uh, it is very much playable. And based on my experience, it is. Now, whether you're going to play this game docked or not docked, I guess it depends on uh, your storage scenario. If you only got an, a 64 gig uh, or a base model Steam Deck or a 256 gig Steam Deck and you don't have a micro SD uh, for additional storage. And uh, if you've got yourself uh, a dock, then you might as well install it in a supported dock with M2 SSD. Uh, or if you still wanna play the game uh, on your Steam Deck um, handheld mode, then install it on your internal SSD. And as I mentioned, if you're looking for a dock for your Steam Deck that offers M.2 SSD external storage support and you know ways to add your favorite peripherals like uh, mouse, keyboard, um, external monitor via HDMI up to 4K and LAN connection, 
This is the duct that I recommend, the JSOX HB0604. Special thanks to our friends at JSOX for sending this item for us to feature and review. Uh, be sure to check out my full video about the slew of JSOX accessories for the Steam Deck. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe if you're new to the channel. This has been GN and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!